Welcome back everybody, it's more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Imperial Garden today, regular tees, teeny cups, club skill high. <coughs> Standard drill, we'll see what we can do. Again, teeny cups, so this is going to be all about getting that ball as close as we can on the approach. <laughs> and Imperial's a course where you can take some risk, but you'll pay for it if you miss it. <coughs> got a decent tee shot. 175 left. Pins are not in a terrible spot. Bit of wind. Oh, you don't want to be short here. <coughs> got it on, but that's a beast of a putt. Sloping downhill. Waking to the left. Super hard to know. Just how hard you can hit this. Take the birdie, then. Big fan of that opening birdie. So we've got 11 under on this setup before now, which is not awful. But we'll go some way to beat that. So two, another par four. We can kind of hit this into this bank a little bit. Just got to miss the front edge of that bunker. <laughs> Please. Oh, just missed it. Got it into that bank there. Pins on the right, which is actually... Well, it's in the middle again. Kidney shape, but... Looks on the map like it's on the right. Super hard to get this close. Oh, that's okay. Chip for a par, but we'll struggle a little bit. Someone asked me on a comment why I play the 9-iron. If you play the approach wedge, it bounces a lot when it lands, and I actually want it to roll like a putt. So the 9-iron's kind of the best compromise between rolling like a putt and not having too much um, too much shot sway. Oh, I was just short. Lime was good on it, though. If you play the approach wedge, the ball doesn't sit down. So it's a while before the terrain takes effect. So three's a par four. Got this big bunker here in the way. Not the ultra top spin. We should pitch up somewhere around there. The question will be which way do we go when we land? Oh, we kicked right. Oh, might just hold. Oh, it's in the rough, it's not in that pot bunker. Makes this really tricky though. Kind of takes the birdie out. Look at the right hand shot sway on that. Oof, we'll do well to get up and down from here. That's the problem, you make a mistake, you're going to pay for it on this course. Should have found the fairway. Would have made that shot second shot simpler. And now we got a par putt, not a birdie putt. Two pars in a row. Got to break that. For my least favourite hole on this course. And we've got the ultra backspin. Yeah, pitched it short. Needs to pitch it a bit higher. <coughs> Still on the green. So we get a birdie pop. Looks like it's top five. Teeny cups though, zero margin. Oh, we got it. Two under. So five. Start the split fairways. All about finding a nice place to hit the second shot from. It's a slightly hanging lie. Probably about that. Quite hard to get close to this one because of where it's positioned. 
You need to pitch it on the green, really. Yeah, see, so it just held it back a couple of feet. Got the birdie, though. Three under. So six is the big par five. It's a par five. Got to get it over this little brook first. Yeah, into the winds. Can't really play my favourite little um, water skip to avoid all of that. The real problem here is you'll hit this bank, and if it goes right, you're in the rough. That looks like it's all right. So 267 to go. Can't really drive the pin. Well, you can never go at driving the pin. <clears throat> Missed it. Right. Yeah, right. Oh, that was out of bounds. That's not out of bounds. That's pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. I'll take it, though. Oh, we didn't do bad there. So somehow, we've got a birdie putt there. Not the conventional route, but it'll do. So seven. Another split fairway, this time water rather than sand. Again, you want to find a good place to get your second shot from. Masterful That should be okay. 162 left. A little bit of wind. Six iron up there. Cleared the bunker on the green. Bounced on a bit. Rolls up. That's okay. That's okay. Go for the birdie. Oh, do you see that just bent away to the right at the last minute? Five under. This could be a tricky little par three. I don't really want to play the um, the wood to it. I'll try and play an iron at it. Probably end up a bit short, but the eyes are just too unpredictable. So 16 foot for the birdie. Quite a way uphill. Waking to the left. Oh, only just missed it. Only a touch more power might have saved that. Go par though. So nine. With a bit of luck, this ends up on the fairway just about. I'll take that. It's a 240. Now you can try and smack it to the green and try and hold it. Ah, there's no way you're going to make that. So what's the sensible shot? You can play to this side of the green. Leaves you with a massive putt. Or, more realistically... You could play somewhere up here. Give yourself a chip at the green. It's a par five. You want to be on the short stuff. And attack the pimp. So we take the eagle out of play, but hopefully much better shot at the birdie. A little bit like that. So we're going to finish six under for the opening nine. I'll take that. See what happens on the um, on the way back in. Okay, it's a 
half. So ten. Found myself a little bit of fairway, hopefully. And that'll do it. So 140 to go. Going to be an A time. It's going to be a lot of movement. Masterful. Up onto the green. That's not bad. Go for the birdie. Again, there's teeny cups. Do not like balls hit at pace. So 11 over the lock gates. I've got enough wind, I might go for this. Sometimes I play down to this part. But I think I've got enough wind to carry this. Got a lot of left hand shots, swipe. Oh, now it's in there. I was not hitting the PI, killed me. What can you do there? It's just bad RNG. Oof. Dug it out, but we've lost a lot of distance. So 120. We're on the short stuff, though. That shot spray thing is probably one of the mechanics I get rid of. Or at least give you a... Well, I suppose you've got a skill base worth mitigating. It's called getting perfect impact. But it's a quite a hard edge. Between perfect impact and non-perfect impact. Still got the birdie, though. 12. We've got a strategy we've been using for ages and we're going to carry on with. Ooh, we're that a bit short, actually. So 110 left. Pins in a weird spot again. Great shot. Ah, uh, the apron just sort of killed it. First time we're going to need to chip it. So we can do hitting the pin would be super helpful. There you go. I can't believe it. It's a 13. Again, there's a not an unreasonable spot. Oh, we got a lot of wind this time. Made up much further down here. I'm not as sure of the landing spots when you get this far down. Oh, my real worry is you hit a bit of terrain and it kicks you off. I tried the backspin to hold it. Uh, we're in the sun. We're only 80 yards away, though. It could be worse. Can't really predict the power. Sometimes you get lucky, that'll do. We're going to get right edge firm. Just got it. Got the birdie. Nice birdie. So 13 to the par 4. This is such a tough it's par 4. Par 3, sorry. you got to basically stick a driver on the green. Okay. Well, we got the ultra max pin. Not much else we can do. Hit the perfect shot. Look how left it's gone. It'll be on the putting surface at least. Not really where I wanted it. Look at that part. It's like I could guess it, that. Oh, 
rocket it over the ridge, but not really oh, close oh, enough. Yes. So, break our birdie rump with a par. Could be much worse here, though. That is a tough par three. It's a par four. It's a 15. This is going to move a lot in the air. Get it over that lip and hold it, please. Don't go too far right. Yeah, that's going to roll off. Okay. We're out the rough. Which makes it a slightly more interesting shot. Do not hit the flyer. Oh. Oh. Really what I didn't want to do, because now we've got a really tough shot back. I caught a lot of the vegetation on the way. Focus. That's a heck of a putt for par. Sloping downhill. I'll take the bogey here if I'm honest. This goes in, it's a bonus. Oh, nearly. Ah. Just gonna keep the tee shot on the short stuff. That's what happens. It's a 16. And aim for that little corner, try and find a bit of fairway, and then lay up short of the water. And then attack the pin. I've got a lot of left hand sway, it should be okay. Shouldn't run out. Yeah, it's alright. So 87 to go. Straight into the wind. Yeah. Hoping for closer. Makes this a tricky shot. Oh, so close. So close. Have to take the part. 17 is a nice par 3 usually. Ah, I didn't get the backspin I wanted. Look at the wind, grab it. Got the birdie. Tennis, we've got a shot at 11 under. 18. It's a pop. Just got the wrong side of that hill. Yeah, it'll hold. So 195. Huh. Master Fire Firing up there, see what we get left with as a pop. The wind just bent it, look at that. And we're under that ridge, this is a heck of a pop. Sloping downhill. Barely though, Suzuki, barely. Nah. Too hard to read those little ridges. You're gonna have to take the part. Leaves us at 10 under. Ah, uh, we had a shot at 11. Well, that's not bad, only the one bogey. A few little instances. Stats should be reasonably good. Uh, 70% fairways and greens, that's not great, it's not awful. I well, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. 
for a little bit more if we just go.